Hi everybody, Don Campbell here from Expand to Web, and I wanted to show you a quick video on how the new menus in WordPress 3.0 work. Uh, it's pretty slick, it's part of the core now, um, the, the whole extendable menu system is part of the WordPress core, and so in the Small Biz 3.0 theme, we've um, you know switched out our menus now to take advantage of the new WordPress menus. So in, in the past, in the Small Biz theme, you could omit different pages in the Options panel, uh, but now you need to do it within the appearance section of WordPress and I'll show you how that works. So this is the site and by default with the new menu if the theme if your theme supports the new WordPress menus when you add a new page like I'm going to do here then what will happen is let's publish this page and take a look and you'll see that it automatically gets added to the top navigation right so that's pretty cool but sometimes you don't want that menu to show up or maybe you want to name it something different. So what you need to do if you want to affect the menu is go into under the appearance section and go to menus. And you'll see here that you've got um, some things you can do. It's not obvious what to do. So what you've got to do is, is actually create a new menu. So you give it a name. Just call it whatever you want. I'm going to call it my menu. And then I'll say create. Now from here, uh, well, all I need to do is drag in the pages. I've got a list of my pages over here. So let's go ahead and add all of them. Let's say I want to add all these pages to the menu, uh, except for that new page that I created. So we'll say add to menu. And then I can reorganize these, right? So I might say I want home page to be first, drag and drop. Then I want the about page, then the find us, <clears throat> and the contact, and then articles. Now the other cool thing, is I can actually change the label on the menu. So if I want it to be called something different than the title of the page, I can say, you know, for example, I can say health articles, even though the page isn't called that. So that's kind of neat, right? You can change that stuff. And the other thing, and then I'll save it, okay? Um, and then the other thing I can do with these menus, which is really nice, is I could even have a custom link on here. So I could say I want to have a link that goes to you know, um, expand to web blog, and I can. This is a page that's totally not on this site, right? So I can add that to the menu as well. So I'll go ahead and save it. Let me show you how this looks. All right. So now I'm going to refresh the page here or the site, and now you see. See how I renamed that health articles, and the and the my new page is not on the menu because I omitted it, and I can even link off to a different site. So here I'm linking to the expand to web blog. So that's kind of cool. I can link to anything I want to in there. Now, another thing that you might want to do in here in the menu is set um, <clears throat> this little checkbox. So this says automatically add new top level pages. So what this means is um, I'm just changing by default whether I want new pages to be added. So if this is unchecked, okay, it, like it is now, and I go in and I create a new page, so we're going to go create a new page in WordPress, another one. My, just call it another new page. And if I publish that, go back to my website, it is not going to show up on the menu because I didn't have that box checked. right? So I'm refreshing the page now, and you'll see it's not here. So new pages will not appear on the menu unless you go into here and you actually check on this guy. And once that's checked, new pages will come to the menu automatically. So anyway, that's how the menu system works. It's pretty cool. You have total control over your navigation menu now in WordPress for themes that support it, like the small biz theme. And uh, you can do some pretty cool stuff. So um, have fun with that. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, if you could uh, leave ratings in the comments below or comments below and give me your feedback, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks.